Okay, so we're getting ready to convert from a two-line tether to a four-line tether so that we have four control points on the boat. Typically, this technique is only going to be utilized if you're operating around a low head or some significant hazard that you're trying to negotiate in and have full control of the boat. Uh, it's imperative if utilizing an application like this in those types of hazards that you have fully open-ended boats so that you can accommodate um, not sinking the boat if they take on water. You can see there, the two are attached. They're going to use paddles to support paddling across to the other bank, dropping off another individual or another crew on the far side down by the objective with that fourth control point. Then they'll navigate back over to this side and do the exact same thing. Alright, so you can see that we've now got four attachment points to make the boat very, very maneuverable, very well controlled from all those four points. They'll approach the victim, um, load the victim from the backside, just like the two-line tether. Just gives you a lot more manipulative control over the ferry angle of the boat, um, as well as other pull points to get the boat to the near shore or the far shore. There you go. Okay, when the rescue sequence is complete, we need to wrap it up in an orderly fashion, bring our personnel back across. So we're going to start with the downriver component on the four-line on the four -line tether. We're going to pick that uh, edge tender or that bank tender up with his rope, put him in the boat. We're then going to haul the boat up to the far side bank, um, high side river tethers, bring those guys into the boat with their rope, and then both near side lines will pull the craft and all personnel back over to the near side in a controlled fashion. <laughs> 